Hi guys, okay, so I'm gonna show you this DIY um, that I'm gonna do with the Dollar Tree products and they are using these serving trays, okay? You can make a pumpkin and you can do it in green if you want. Actually, the Walmart I was at did not have a lot of the celery green in. They didn't have any in except the huge bottle. So I got this pumpkin chalk paint. What I'm going to try, now I, I did the one and I did it with the brush strokes. Now, the reason, I'm not going over that. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is distressed. I'm going to paint the other trays. And, you know, you could, um, with the chalk paint, it's as much distress as you want to add. So if you just really want to go over it lightly, it'll look like, you know, more worn. And that's all going to be a matter of personal preference, whatever you want. So you just go for it in your own time, however you want to do it. And you can paint them on the back too. I started painting on the back and I didn't finish. Um, I may just go over the back now that it's done. I'm not sure. You don't really see it. And if you have it hanging on the wall or something, but um, that's up to you. Personal preference. So let me get these painted. And then I'll show you the next step. So let's speed this up, guys. Okay, so here they are. I have them all painted. You'll see the one I painted the back of and the one I didn't. I, I just like may go over or not. I've got my glue gun and what I'm going to do is glue them on top of each other and then I'm going to put some popsicles, popsicle sticks in order to brace them a little bit in the back. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now I'm going to put the third tray on the top by putting some glue right along there and I'm just going to affix it. 
that and you're going to have your pumpkin shape so I'll press down on that and there that's so far now we need a stem and a bow so we'll get working on that So I'm going to use one of those popsicle sticks and so that I can put the the little um, stumpy things, uh, branch, branch cutoffs that you can buy at the Dollar Tree or you can get from your own yard and just to have something to glue that onto. But when I first did this one, it was um, too long for the branchy thing that I had there. And so I then ripped it off you'll see right now and then just went back over with um, actually popped it off and glued it back onto the part that was broken off there just to give it something better to adhere to and that's exactly what I did Okay, so now I'm going to make a bow. I'm not a great bow maker. I used to have like a bow dazzler, but whatever. Um, I've played with this a couple of different ways. And what I ended up doing, I cut off two tails, you know, angled them up that I was going to glue onto the back of the ribbon. And then I just took one um, large piece and made it a loop and one smaller piece and made it a loop and tried to do it with the floral wire. I didn't like that, so I... Put the floral wire on the one piece, scrunched it in, folding like in, out, in. Put the wire on, and then I put it through the other loop, and then pulled that loop tight in the back, and it fixed it with um, glue. And then I ended up gluing on the tails to the back of the ribbon. Yes, uh, kind of convoluted, but it works. It works, so that's what I went with. And again, on this pumpkin now... That you have it you could put an initial on there you could um, do something with your Cricut I may do something with my Cricut on it I don't know that I'm done with it I've seen people leave them plain people I haven't seen anybody put anything on it. but you could put your initial on it you could put uh, something about fall or harvest or you know whatever I probably will do something with my Cricut and then of course I will update you but right now, this is what I did. And you can do them in different colors. You can do them in the celery, and you can do them in white. And they're just really nice and very easy to do. You know, just have fun. There's a lot of different ways that you can dress them up, put them in the back of, you know, or that's like you're on the counter where your coffee bar is, or put them on your mantle, or, or even hang it on your door. You can add, you know, something to hang it in the back, um, put it on your wall, put it on a shelf, do whatever you want. But it's a great way to just use something from the Dollar Tree and make something. So I just go on here with this ribbon and I'll get it. But that's um, what I did there. I have another set of trays. I might make another one in a different color. I might not. And I might use the trays for another project. But uh, I never even noticed uh, these trays before, really, ever. So it was interesting. So there you have it. Uh, I finally got the bow the way I want and I'm just going to put some glue and just glue it down to that stem that's sticking up 
And then, then you just want to clean off your glue strands and well you can't really see that oh, there you go you have a better view hope you like it let me know what you think in the comments and if you decide to make one take care guys have a good one bye bye